Well, Alexander Young Jackson is another uh, very interesting artist, another member of the Group of Seven. He was actually born in Montreal, uh, became interested in art at a, a very early age, um, got into the commercial art field like almost all of the rest of the Group of Seven. About 1913, he uh, actually had an opportunity to paint on Georgian Bay. He had relatives in Kitchener-Waterloo that actually owned a, a cottage in Cognachine. And uh, Alex uh, came up to the cottage just for some relaxation and just loved the area and began to paint uh, Georgian Bay, quite frankly, much earlier than most of the other members of the group. Of course, in, in 1920, Alex was uh, uh, very involved in the formation of the Group of Seven. Um, he, of course, worked with Tom Thompson at the studio in Toronto, at the studio building in Toronto, and um, was very much a part of the, uh, if you will, the artistic movement of the time, uh, which was the creation of the Group of Seven. So we have um, five or so uh, paintings by AY uh, on, uh, on exhibit at the museum at the moment. And uh, they represent a cross section of his, uh, some of his gouache and watercolors, as well as three or four of his oils. And uh, we're certainly very interested in AY Jackson because he, he too, like the rest of the members of the group, painted the Georgian Bay area and uh, that's what we would uh, ultimately like to acquire, some of the Jackson uh, drawings and, and paintings and sketches relating to his time on Georgian Bay. And I think um, he is certainly one of uh, this area's uh, wonderful artists because he really captured uh, Georgian Bay in a very unique way, not unlike the way Tom Thompson and Fred Varley did as well of uh, some of their paintings on Georgian Bay.